Okay, welcome to making the Patrick Caulfield pottery. This is for the more difficult section. Make sure you're going to uh, the year 5 folder and make sure that you go to uh, year 5 paint.net short topic term 3 and then go to images. Open up the Patrick Caulfield pottery 1969 and you will see here that it looks quite complicated but in actual fact it isn't it's quite it is quite simple if we just look even closely like we've talked about look closely into the picture you can see that there are only four different four different items in there about four different items you've got the big vase the big vases you've got the smaller jugs and you've got the plates. So that's all. We, that's all we're going to focus on, really. Make going to paint.net. Um, in paint.net, keep your background. Your background is black. So you can just see the black poking through here. We're going to keep this black. And go and paint that black. Get a new layer. I'm going to call. I'm going to start off with plates because the plates are very simple. Call my layer plates. Make sure my layer that I'm in is blue. That tells me that that's the one I'm working in. And then I'm going to go over to the line tool. The reason I'm going to get the line tool is because it's much more convenient. And while I'm drawing this, I am going to go and turn off this layer. It's still there. But I'm just going to turn it off so that I can draw. I'm going to go and choose about size 10, give it a test. That's probably a little bit too thick. I might go to about 5. Let's do double check. Does it have to be thicker? No, 5 is about right. There we go. Now then, I've got my line tool, I'm going to come back to that later, I'm going to get my circle tool, go and check my plates, what do my plates look like, they're very very simple. Done. Now I need to cluster my plates, because I've got clusters of them, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them all together, all on top of each other. What I'll need to do, what you'll need to do, is you'll have to overlay these on top of each other. So you can see that you'll need one, two, three, four, five, six different layers. And you need to copy these plates into different layers. Done. So these go over the top of each other. I'm going to go and colour these in as well. I'm going to go and choose a colour. It doesn't matter about colours now because you can just do any colour you like. Done. Now I can go and copy this using the select tool, the white select tool. I'm going to go and get this as, as neat as possible. Done. Go into my blue so that I can go and copy it. Control C, or you can go to copy over here. Go into my second layer, and I can go and paste it. There we have them on top of each other. I want to go and change the color right now because it it'll be easy for me. Go and choose my fill tool. Go and choose another color. And you can see that they're on top of each other now. Keeping this box around the outside, I can go and copy again my next layer and do the same again. And I'm going to use a flat color this time. Get my bucket tool. And you can see that we're getting a nice array of plates across the top. 
go into my next layer, paste it. You notice that it pasted the other one from before. I'm going to get a new color. I'm going to get my bucket tool, fill that in. I can go and copy. Go into my penultimate layer now. And very, very quickly, I'm just going to go and change the color again. Copy, go into here and paste it. I might keep that the same color actually. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to put these into one long layer. Because we've made the, we've made the cluster of them, we're going to go and merge the layers down. So it says here, if I just bring that bring down so you can see it, merge the layers down. So I'm just going to merge these now. So now you can see that my plates are all together in one long line. I can go over to my white select. Pick up the plates. Now this end one might be cut off but that's not really a problem. I thought so. Maybe we can just stick them over there like that. Turn the background on and we're well on the way. Next layer, once you've made a new layer, this will be, let's call this vases, and you can do the same for the vases. Go and check out where the vases are. So there's a cluster of vases down here. You can put the cluster of vases right across the bottom. That'll be your task. The one after that will be the jugs, and then you can go and paste the jugs around wherever you want and just fill them up. Okay, thank you.